Oh, this is a good one. I know. Our next guest is celebrating more than 50 years in the business. Wow. Iconic credits ranging from Starsky and Hutch mm -hmm. to I'm Gonna Get You Sucker. And this acting legend is showing no signs of slowing down. Here to talk about his amazing career and his time with Rihanna is Antonio Fargus. Welcome to Arise. Oh boy, it's, it's really good to be here on the rise, yeah. on the rise. <laughs> um, I just came back from Canada working on a movie called uh, Beyond Skyline. Yes. And, uh, and I'm in New York uh, working on uh, promoting Cozy TV. Uh, which is showing all of the best of the 70s uh, television shows, including Starsky and Hutch, and, and I am the brand ambassador. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, I have a little band called the New Jump Blues, which is, uh, you know, doing videos in, um, uh, for Cozy TV, promoting the, promoting the network. And oh, the I don't even know where channel. to start. Should Let, we start? Okay. Listen, and it's over 55 years. Over this, 55 This year is my 55th year in the business. Wow. It's also the 40th year celebration of the from the pilot for Starsky and Hutch. So it's like 40 years since I did that. I started in the business when I was 14, and 55 years makes me 69 this summer. Goodness. And uh, and you I'm look still good. rolling. I've been truly blessed. What's the secret to your longevity? Boy, that it that I finally realized that it was a spiritual journey, ah. and that I always was going to get. And this day was planned before we were born. Yes. And when I realized that I don't have to be in control of my life or my career, and I let the other powers take care of it, it's been an easier ride. Especially, and I know that I'm on on the sunset side of my career too, and to be have what I have in my life, to be a better father, to be a better actor. All the things that uh, that I've always wanted to be and thought I could never attain mm -hmm. are possible. Well, we should note the powers have been looking out for you since the beginning. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. But oh, yes. let's talk about that pilot of Starsky and Hutch. Hey. Huggy Bear was only supposed to be in the pilot. Yeah. What happened yeah. that you would what go happened? on to be iconic for five years well, more? I, I, there was some, a greater plan in, in, in store that I didn't know. I just thought it was just a pilot. We were called the movie for television. It was an MOW called Starsky and Hutch. And the reason I got the role... MOW, of, Movie of the Week. Movie of the Week. Uh -huh. And the, the reason I got the role was because I did a film in New York called Across 110th Street. Yes. Okay. With um, Yafet Koto, Anthony Quinn, and Tony Franciosa, and a couple of really fine actors who were my, my crew, our crew together. And, Bobby uh, Womack did the music And Bobby for Womack that. did yes. the soundtrack. Mm -hmm. And uh, oh, God rest his soul. And... Uh, and it was the director of that movie was named Barry Shear. Yeah. And when I got to L.A., hungry actor, looking to do things, and I got a call from Aaron Spelling and, my, uh, and the network saying that, uh, that there was a movie, a pilot, or a movie for television that Barry Shear was going to direct, and it was called Starsky and Hutch. And he recommended me for the role of Huggy Bear because if you saw across 110th Street, uh, yes. the role of Henry J. was very huggy S. That's right. In fact, yeah. that made my whole living... A life on doing strange and different kind of characters, characters that nobody else wanted to touch. And, uh, you know, so here we are, do four people, years later talking about do it. Do people still come up to you and call you Huggy Bear? Yeah, but, I, <laughs> but, yeah, but they also call me Fly Guy. Uh -huh. yeah. They also uh, know me from Everybody Hates Chris. Yeah. I did four years with, with Chris Rock show. And, you know, and, 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 and conjoining the, the Rihanna situation, mm -hmm. it's that Will Smith, Chris Rock, um, Will Smith, Chris Rock, and, and Martin, and even Snoop all gave me opportunities in their projects because they know whose shoulders they stand on. Mm -hmm. And uh, But we have to catch our viewers up on how Rihanna found you. You were amused for the video. It's He's in the Be Better Have My Money video, <laughs> so that we're clear. Well, the, the, the clearness of it is that, you know, she found me because just like those other artists found, found me, mm -hmm. there was something that I did in Keenan Ivory Wayne's film, I'm Gonna Get You Sucker. Yeah, another big I, hit. I did that poem, and it resonated with a lot of young artists today, mm -hmm. and Rihanna was one of them. And uh, when, I, when I heard that the video was happening, or that the, she was doing the song, uh, I talked to my publicist, I said, you know what, it would be really interesting if I was in that video. Mm -hmm. um, so it worked out that I'm not in the video, uh -huh. but... Antonio Fogg is doing Be Better Have My Money is yeah, in the video. So that presence is there. That respect, you know, whose shoulders, you know, she it's stands on. It's an homage. On. It's an homage to not only to Keenan Ivory Range, but to me and to and to uh, to a life that's been dedicated to 
you know, to something that I love. What's it been like to have the younger generation embrace you in this way? Well, yeah, it's, you know, it's, it's humbling mm -hmm. because uh, I also realize that, you know, young artists, I have to give them the dignity of failure. Yeah. You know, I have to allow them to make their mistakes because by making their mistakes, they will grow. Mm -hmm. But also to plant seeds, the seeds of, of, of dedication, the seeds that it's, that it's a spiritual journey that, um, that more is planned for them if they just get themselves out of the way. Yeah. But it's hard because you, know, you have a hunger uh, like I had to do this because this was my life. This was something that I felt that when I found art, the found, found theater, when I was 14 years old, I found a family that, that embraced me as a different kind of person. I felt different all my life. And then when I found people who were also different, and I could also know that they were the ones taking chances. Mm -hmm. you know, and then I would realize that what I saw in my life was easier for me to, to cry when I was a young artist yeah. than it was for me to laugh because of where I came from and what I saw. Mm -hmm. So these tragic characters, a lot of the characters that I gave dignity to I mean, I was one of the first ones to play gay roles in films That's when right. I did Car Wash and Next Stop Greenwich Village and all of that. And now everybody's making their, making their bones, as they say, in the, in, in the mob yeah. by, by, you know, taking on those roles. And the climate has gotten so much better for everybody That's because true. of, you know, that, that situation. So you mentioned your movie coming up. Will you be doing more music via the, your swing band? <laughs> well, I didn't know yeah. you were swinging yeah. like this. Well, the, you know, that's the, uh, also the cherry on the cake is that I always wanted to find my musical expression. And, yes. And I have this group called the New Jump Blues and I have two young, great, great singers, artists who really carry the load, but I'm just there having fun. I consider myself the Ike Turner or the, or the Flavor Flav of the yeah. New Jump Blues. Maybe because the Kirk I'm, Franklin, kind of like a Kirk Franklin. Yeah, yeah, because I, I just get them going. I'm yeah. The hook, and we have such a ball. We we had the privilege of playing the Playboy Jazz Festival last year. Yes. I mean, I mean that mecca of music, the Hollywood Bowl. Uh, looking out at that audience and knowing, you know, there were certain milestones in my career that really, you know, gave me, you know, the the hard stuff. You well, know, we the, cannot thank which you enough for being to us. here. You, <laughs> this has been. I had to run a minute, but how do you encapsulate all of that, you know, in, in a certain amount of time? And that's why I think I also. I'm really am planning on doing a book and all that before I forget some of this stuff. Well, well as soon as it, it comes out, can you please come back? We are ready for that memoir. Well, thank you, thank you. And thank lots you. more to talk about. Yes. Thank you. Thank you so thank much you. for being here. Antonio Legend. Fargas. Oh, man. Huggy Bear. Yeah. Huggy Bear. You're, You're watching <laughs> Huggy Bear and Arise Entertainment 360. That was